Davis ending hunger. Clickbait. Hi, I'm Kevin Dusa. I'm Emily Shaffey. And welcome back to another episode of Aggie Now, your source for all things Aggie. UC Davis researchers Michael Reed and Jim Thompson have revolutionized technology in food loss prevention with their new low-cost invention, the dry cart. Dry cart is a small cart-sized tool that shows farmers whether or not their dried food products are dry enough to store safely, thus reducing the risk of food molding or spoiling. And earlier this year in March, Drycart beat out more than 200 other entries to win the grand prize at the All Africa Post Harvest Technologies and Innovation Challenge at the All Africa Post Harvest Congress in Kenya. This nifty little car changes color based on humidity. It comes complete with a small index and directions with results coming back within 20 to 30 minutes. The researchers estimate that with just $70,000, the Drycart technology can be spread to seven other countries on the African continent. Just another innovation to add to the UC Davis's growing list of contributions to the world. Let's go Aggies. Woo! God yeah. bless. God bless Aggie. Yeah, and also the fact that the card is the size of a credit card makes it really easy. And it's also easy to use and it is reusable. Mm. But this technology will help people in these countries kind of protect their own food and save it for a later date, save it for their winners and stuff. It's also important to know that in United States, for example, food preservation is really, really prevalent. Like we have freezers, we have refrigerators, we have canned foods, but in those countries, food preservation is probably not as prevalent and that's why they need to have a little tool that they can use in order to help with preserving the food, especially some producers dry their food before selling to the market. So we know that a lot of developing countries in Africa have a lot of problems with maintaining like normal food levels or, or having healthy harvests or whatever. So these kinds of technologies, especially developed here in the States, show that like we care about other countries and we don't see, you know, technology only helping farmers in the United States. We have to like consider the implications of farmers all around the world. So that's been another episode of Aggie Now. I'm Kevin Dusa. I'm Evelyn Sheffy. Thanks for watching. See you later.